my dear students, today we will learn about Unit 2, Lesson 2, Execration and the Human Urinary System. What is the meaning of execration process? Please look at this picture. Can you guess the definition or the meaning of the execration? Yes, by looking at this picture, you can guess it's well through rubbish or waste. Yes, you got it. It's the process of getting rid of the excretory materials produced inside the cells out of the body. Okay. Can you guess what is the common between these organs, skin, lungs, and kidneys? There is common thing between them. Yes, they are all can get rid of something or waste. Is large intestine differ from them and what makes it different? Yes, it's different from the others skin, lungs and kidneys because it has solid waste and the others has cell waste to get rid of it. Watch this video then answer the following question. What are the excretory weights and the organs that are responsible for getting rid of them out of the body? Let's see. Do you know the answer? Yes. Secretory wastes like carbon dioxide, water vapor, nitrogenous wastes, excess salt and excess water. And we have organs, specialized organs, is responsible for getting rid of these wastes out of the body. So carbon dioxide will expel out of the body through lungs during exhalation process nitrogenous weights will spill out through the urinary system or kidneys and excess salt and excess water and they will be expelled by the sweat or by the urinary system let's uh, start with food when you eat food it will go to the digestive system to be digested by digestion process so we will have digested food and indigested food the indigested food stored in the large intestine to be expelled out of the body as solid wastes or stool and feces. The other digested food absorb it to the blood and the blood distributed all the body cells. After that when we breathe or inhale the oxygen burn or combustion make combustion of the digested food 
and this process produce energy and cell wastes. These wastes like carbon dioxide and water vapor, nitrogenous wastes, we call it, we call it urea and uric acid also. Let's uh, start with solid wastes. The solid wastes, they are the undigested food that's stored in the large intestine before passing out of your body. These solid wastes come out as stool or feces through anus. Give reason. This is a common question. So please know the answer. The stool is not an excretory material or waste material. The answer will be because the stool is the remains of the undigested food and it's expelled out of the body through the anus. Let's move to the second waste material, the excretory materials. The excretory materials are waste materials produced from combustion of food inside the body cells, inside the body cells. So we call them cell wastes. We call them cell wastes. Like carbon dioxide, water vapor, nitrogenous wastes, excess salts and excess water. They can classify it into harmless material that the body can't use them and poisonous material that the body must get rid of them. The first one not benefit the body and not harm it but the second one we must get rid of them because they harm us. The excretory materials if we compare between them carbon dioxide and water vapor points of comparison produced by and excreted from ناخد بالنا من الكمبارزون between these three materials or wastes carbon dioxide and water vapor produced by combustion of digested food by oxygen to produce energy and excreted from the two lungs during exhalation process with water vapor okay the second one nitrogenous wastes urea and uric acid produced by breaking down of protein excreted from the urinary system or the kidneys in, in the form of urine. Number three, excess salts and excess water that produced by eating all types of food where the body dissolves excess salts in excess water, they excreted from two parts. Number one, the urinary system or kidneys in a form of urine Number two, through the skin in a form of sweat. Okay, look at this picture. These are the cells. If you suppose the carbon dioxide, this one, the ring with black line, carbon dioxide, and water in the green circle, the nitrogenous weights, the yellow circle red blood cells this the red one so the cell that have wastes carbon dioxide water and nitrogenous wastes expelled these wastes to the blood and the red blood cells carry the carbon dioxide okay to transfer it to special organ in the lungs to expel it out of the body The excretory organs, the Munkinigi definition or Munkinigi scientific term. So they are a group of organs which get rid of the harmful wastes out of the body. Okay, if we compare between the excretory organs, we have two lungs, two kidneys, and the skin. The two lungs excrete carbon dioxide and water vapor through exhalation. The two kidneys excrete nitrogenous wastes, urea and uric acid as a form of urine. Number three, the skin that excrete or expel excess salt and excess water as a form of sweat. 
We have here a note sweet glands are special type of glands inside the skin that produce sweat. We have here some questions of give reason. Number one, skin is one of the excretory organs. The answer will be yes, because the skin gets rid of excess salt and excess water in the form of sweat. So you will say that the function of the skin here. Number two, sweat has salty taste. Any one of you taste has a sweat, you will have salty taste. Why? Because sweat has excess salt. Number three. Why we drink more water in summer? Or why man urinates less in the summer than winter? They are the same question and have the same answer yes because the body produces more sweat in summer the fourth question the stool is, is not an excretory material or waste material we have said it before because the stool is the remains of the undigested food and it's expelled out of the body through the anus Let's uh, summarize, we have studied types of waste material, can be solid waste, feces or stool, they are indigested food stored in the large intestine to expelled out of the body. Number two, the excretory materials like carbon dioxide and water vapor, they expelled out through exhalation from the lungs, nitrogenous wastes urea and uric acid and they are expelled out by urinary system or kidney as a form of urine number three four excess salt and excess water and they are expelled by two ways sweat by skin in the form of a sweat and by urinary system or kidney by in the form of urine let's move to another part you will watch a video and after watching it can you tell me the structure of your urinary system and how can they get rid of wastes please watch the video
Okay, can you tell me the answer? Yes, the structure of the urinary system. Number number one, two kidneys. Number two, two ureters, urinary bladder, and the fourth one is urethra. You are right. Okay. The urinary system is the system that clarify or purify the blood from the nitrogenous wastes, excess salt and excess water. Its location it's located in the abdominal cavity near to the backbone and what its its function its function is it filters the blood from the nitrogenous wastes, excess salts and excess water. Number two, it expels these wastes outside the body. Yes, this is the structure. Like we said, number one here we have artery. Artery carries blood containing nitrogenous wastes to be filtered in the kidney, so it brings the waste to the kidney to be filtered number two vein this blue arrow it carries clean blood after purifying from the kidney to the heart number three the two kidneys left and right kidney the main organs that take pin shape Look at the kidney. It's shaped like the bean. Okay? The bean shape and locate at the two sides of the big pool. Its function, it contains about million million minutes tubules to filter the blood from urea, uric acid, excess salts and excess water and other waste materials. It gets rid of these wastes in the form of urine so we have here each organ with with its function okay number four the two ureters we have right ureter and left ureter they are two narrow tubes narrow tubes from the kidney to the urinary bladder so what's its function it transfer the urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder. Number five, the urinary bladder is a balloon like a sac that receives urine from ureter. So it stores the urine until it releases. Okay, its function is stored the urine until it's released outside the body through the urethra. The last organ here in our urinary system is urethra urethra is a tube that extends from urinary bladder and opens outside the body and its function it allows urine to pass outside the body okay how to keep the urinary system health please bring your student book and open it page 37 with me please okay you open it Look at the last paragraph in your student book, page 37, and please start reading with me. Number one. Yes. Drink appropriate quantities of clean water daily, especially in summer. Why? You can write after me the answer, please, in your book. Why? we should drink appropriate quantities of clean water because body produces more sweat in summer number two yes you can read yes eat healthy and balanced food low in salt eat healthy and balanced food low in salt why so each one of them we will give you the reason for doing it okay so you can write after me why we can 
eat healthy and balanced food low in salt because more salt affect on the function of the kidney and harm it number three keeping away and avoid urinate in irrigation canal you will have it in the third line in number three uh, sorry that is the second line okay and it's answer why before it so why we keep away and avoid urinate in irrigation canal please put a line under it to avoid schistosomiasis disease or bloody urine and we call it bilharziasis in first term okay number four and the last one don't keep urine for long periods please why because this will affect on the function of the kidney okay let's practice so open your student book page 39 you have two minutes to answer question number two and question number three Okay, have you finished? Please put your pen down and let's check your answer. Complete the following sins. Number one, dot are the main organs of the urinary system. The answer will be yes. Yes, two kidneys. If your answers like this, Please put a tick beside it. P. The kidney excrete the waste dissolved in water in the form of dot. The answer will be yes. You can tell me the answer. Yes, urine. If your answer is urine, please put a tick. C. Dot is connected with the kidney and carries the urine into dot. The answer will be two ureters is connected or are connected with the kidney and carries the urine into urinary bladder. If your answer is right, please put a tick. Okay, if your answers in this question all right, please 
put a star. The second one, write the scientific term A. The group of organs that clarify the body from the wastes and harmful substance. Yes, excretory organs. If your answer like this, put a tick please. P. The system that clarify. Take care. The system that clarify blood from excess salts, urea and uric acid. The answer will be yes, urinary system. Urinary system. You are good. Yes, please put tick if you answer like this. C. The fluid which the kidneys produces and contains harmful substance. Yes, urine. You are right. Put a tick, please. E. The narrow tube which connects with the kidney and urine passes through it. The two ureters. Please put a tick if you answer like this. And we have finished.